I was gonna say bucket, but this isn't a bucket. What is this? It's an annoying step, but it literally takes five minutes. Positivity. The number one thing that people struggle with is cleaning their brushes. My sister being one of them frustrates the hell out of me. For my clients, I clean my brushes every single day. Every time I use them, they're in a pile, I wash them straight away. And I deep clean them often. When I don't have the time and I have like 10 clients in a day, I will show you what I use. It's the simplest way to clean your brushes. It is a bit expensive, but it's the easiest way. And it is this brush cleaner right here. As you can see, I have used all of it. I do carry a little bottle with me when I go to clients because sometimes I have four clients in one and I wanna just clean along the way. So I will use that. I'll get my assistant to use that. This is a great alternative if you just want something quick. Although for your own skin, if you're just wanting to clean your own brushes and not a makeup artist or anything, I highly recommend this just Keep in mind that you will need up to a day to just get it dry. You can use your blow dryer, but I will go through all that with you right now. All you're gonna need is a little thing of water. I was gonna say bucket, but this isn't a bucket. What is this? Paper towel and the star of the show, Sard. This is $2 from Coles. I think a dollar something from Woolies. This is a game changer as you can see i use it a lot i literally have like 10 of these because i run out of them really quickly this is what i use to clean my brushes all the time i've never had a reaction to them don't use shampoo don't use any of that and i just find it so easy to use so i want to show you exactly what i do and the best thing about this soap is if your brushes are stained because you've used you know a purple eyeshadow or liquid eyeshadow or any of that sort this will most likely get rid of all of it. So, so I've got my brush. No, it's like that. And then I just kind of squeeze it. If you feel like it's a bit soapy, just dip it in the water again. Then what I do is grab my paper towel and then I kind of form it to how I like it, just like that. And this will really help it dry longer. So probably in an hour or so, this will be dry. So I dipped it in and I really just go in. I like to use the edges to really go in because sometimes, see how there was so much, you don't realize how much is actually in your brush. And then once it starts looking white, that's when I know this is clean. So I'll go in. And then you'll see if there's anything left on your paper towel, then you know. Clean. I would suggest as well, if you are cleaning really big brushes to change the water every so often it will get dirty very quickly so when the water gets really soapy i would recommend changing the water you always want to brush it you don't want to leave it like that because then your brush will stay like this you want to always position it to how you want it and then it will stay like that okay so all the brushes are done now here's a few little bonus tips if you have anything really hard, like this green thing, this is my paintbrush, so I don't really care too much if it's that clean. But if it is stuck, I would really recommend using hot water to get this stuff off. It is like, it works like a dream. Secondly, if you want your brushes to air dry, don't ever just place them like that. Make sure you hang them off something. So see how the top is just hanging? When you place it flat, that water is gonna go all into your bristles and it's gonna stuff it up. So make sure it hangs off. So it should look something like that. I always leave it on the table. So then this top half is falling down. So then all the water can just fall off. You can also blow dry it or like I did, I had my, um, what is this? My paper towel. And then you always wanna make sure you position your bristles to how you want them. See how these are a bit spiked up? It's because I was very bad with this, but you want to make sure that you position it how you want it. Otherwise, it will go really fuzzy. So just let it like that, let it air dry. I would recommend cleaning your brushes 
It depends how many how much times you use them. If you wear makeup every single day and you're using your brushes every single day, I would recommend at least once a week. If you don't use it that often, but you do use it often, maybe twice a week. Just remember that when you do have product on your brushes and then you go in with another like another product, so say this had brown, I wanted to put green, the green won't be as pigment because this isn't clean. So please just keep that in mind. Cleaning your brushes is so important. Another little tip is before you place the soap back in here, let the soap completely dry. It might take five, 10 minutes, it might take half an hour. Once it's dry, you can put it back in here. That way it's not going to slip and slide everywhere. It's not gonna be stuck. I used to just put it straight in here when it was wet it would get stuck to the paper and therefore i'd be used like wasting a lot of product so make sure to do that make sure you let your brushes just clean themselves and then you can go in with your full face of makeup and your products will glide on it will look so much better once they're clean as opposed to when they're dirty and i know it's an annoying step but it literally takes five minutes the more you start doing this the more it becomes a habit and then your skin will thank you later i promise you queens if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up let me know what you want to see next and i will see you in my next video Mwah. bye